Hello and welcome to Datacast Solutions Introduction to NIME for the Data Analyst. This is a fairly brief chapter we're going to cover on workflow optimization using a method that NIME provides called streaming. It doesn't have a wide or very broad use case, but when it is useful, it can be extremely powerful in speeding up your workflows. All right, to demonstrate the value of streaming and its effect on workflow optimization, what I've done is I've created a simple workflow here. At the beginning, I'm grabbing the current execution date and time, as you see right here, and I'm just generating one row so when this node executes, what you get out of here is the time that it, it generated. Then I'm going to execute this node here, which will have some work to be done. And at the end of it, I compute, I take that date and time, and then the current execution time, and I generate the granularity difference in seconds. So in other words, I can see how long this node took to execute in seconds. So I'm going to reset this. And let's open this meta node. And what I want to do is drag it down below so that you can actually see these two running in parallel and see the steps running. So let's go ahead and run this in normal mode. And I'll go ahead and hit execute. And you see how Nine has queued up. Everything says queued. It's basically going to file, read the entire file. Then it's going to do the rename. Then it's going to do the math node. Then it's going to do the string manipulation node. Each one runs in succession. And we'll be able to see how long it takes to complete the entire process, letting NIME run in normal execution mode like this. So the node is completed. I can turn around and look at the output here and say that entire process took 29 seconds. Now that's a very simple, a simple example, but it, it did okay. Um, but now I'm going to reset the node, and I'm going to change this meta node now. So I'm going to configure the meta node, and under Job Selection tab, I'm going to tell it to use simple streaming. And we're going to let the job. Now watch what happens when I execute it. Now you see how data is being passed through. all As it's reading the data, it's passing it through. So it's doing everything in parallel. And generally, that means it's going to be able to accomplish its tasks much more rapidly than it would have before. Um, so it's, it's a very useful process uh, to speed things along in terms of execution time. So it passes the data back through. And now that it's completed this time, okay, we've done this in 24 seconds. So we've knocked at, well, 10% would have been 3 seconds shaved off. So I've knocked about 20% of the execution time off of this job by using streaming. Now, there are some limitations to streaming. Anywhere where aggregation or joins are necessary cannot be streamed. For example, if before string manipulation you have a group by, well, it has to have all the rows in order to complete a group by function. So it would have to pause at that point before it can continue streaming. Also, anywhere where you're doing joins, inner and outer joins, it's going to need all of the rows in order to complete that process. So there are some NIME nodes that are simply incompatible with streaming. But if you can make use of such a feature, you're going to see this workflow, like I said, run about 20% faster. And that's a fairly decent optimization if you can make use of it. This concludes this chapter of the class. Feel free to move on to the next chapter.